Hello, this is my second video uh, regarding lock sport and uh, what prompted me to do this video was the uh, Potty 314 500th video giveaway challenge and uh, in that challenge you're required to pick a lock with uh, five pins that's not uh, rekeyable and uh, I forget what else. Now, I just happened at about the same time that challenge was published, I happened to get in the mail in an unrelated uh, uh, gift uh, box that I uh, subscribed to, one of these. Now, I don't know whether this uh, actually will qualify for the uh, video or not. Uh, however, it is a six pin lock and you can see that there are actually seven pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, the seventh pin is actually a retaining pin to retain the core if you look through the clear lock. Now, whether this is a valid lock or not, uh, whether it, it's really a trading aid, uh, whether you call it a valid lock. I don't know that it qualifies in the potty video, but I thought it was very interesting and enjoyable as a uh, newbie, complete newbie to this, uh, long-time watcher, but a newbie to uh, picking, hands-on. Uh, so far, it's been theory for me. But anyway, it's interesting. Here's the, uh, here's the key, uh, six-pin lock key. And you can see that it works. Uh, well, okay, it works good. I, along with this uh, package that I got, uh, is actually for a microelectronics uh, thing that I subscribe to. You get this training lock, and then you also got a group of uh, inexpensive picks. It's a nine-piece Premier Pick Set by K L O M. Uh, and with in there was a top of uh, the picks, uh, top of keyway and bottom uh, of keyway tensioners. Now, previously, as I explained in my first video, uh, I won the Keymaster giveaway, and the only thing that uh, I kept from that giveaway was this beautiful, uh, professional, just gorgeous set of picks. Uh, from Multilock, which I believe is a European company. These things are just gorgeous, uh, beautiful, beautiful picks. And uh, these ones in this uh, this package are uh, pale in comparison to those. However, I was able to pick this lock with uh, these cheap pins. You could probably pick it with a hairpin or a paper clip as well. However, I'm going to use what I believe to be a DeForest Diamond, I believe this is, to pick this lock. I don't want to go on too far. I really don't have a vice that's suitable, so I'm going to pick this in hand. Uh, and it should not take too long. Like I said, go with bottom of keyway tensioning. Being left-handed, this is a bit of a challenge, I guess. Now, the advantage, of course, of the clear lock is I can see where my pick is. And I can see, along with the feel, which pins that I am uh, I am on. Uh, if I get my hands out of the way, so if I go in, I can see. And I've picked this several times, of course. I know that pin six is the first binding pin. And as I go forward, pin four, and it's open. So. Uh, not too much of a challenge there. Like I said, I use this beautiful uh, DeForest Diamond from uh, uh, the uh, multi-pick set. And I could probably just as well use one of these inexpensive ones. Uh, let me just pick one out of this bag. Uh, this is probably... Uh, uh, You know, it doesn't even compare to the multi-lock pick, that is for sure. However, I can put this one in just as well. And I could look at pins 6 
I got a click pin four I got a click I come forward pin one pin three and it appears that I overset something so let me reset it and I learned what oversetting means too so there's pin six click pin four pin one pin four again and maybe I spoke too soon about this pick being able to perform as well I'll give it one more try I hate to belabor this video maybe I'll edit this part out anyway pin six pin three pin one I think I'm going to end up editing this out. Pin one, and there it is. Okay, so there it is, the six pin practice lock. Uh, I will not be offended or upset in the least, Potty, if you, uh, if you feel that this is not a valid lock. Uh, although it is not rekeyable and it does have six pins instead of seven, whether it's actually a lock or whether the advantage of it being clear uh, changes the intent. I know that package that you're uh, giving away is a pretty awesome group of locks and probably better in the hands of someone that is a veteran picker. So, like I said, I won't be upset if you choose to invalidate this as a valid entry. Thanks for watching and uh, so much for video number two from John McCormick. Goodbye.